What's happening everybody? It's Sunday morning, I'm tired, it's raining, I'm sitting in my car at the gym, waiting for the pre-workout to kick in. It ain't kicking, so pre-workout never kicked in. <laughs> We're just gonna get out, get a little wet from the rain, and then maybe go walk on the treadmill for a little bit, try to get the blood pumping so that I can have energy. It is upper body today, and I thought, hey, let's do something a little different. The gym is not very busy, because it's, it's Sunday morning and it's raining, so not too many people are here. So I'm thinking uh, maybe I try to record what my upper body workouts have been looking like lately. Um, we'll see, let's go. Definitely a tired workout, but you'll see in a little bit, I was feeling pretty strong on some of these exercises. You know, just starting off with warming up my shoulders because on this upper body day, I focus on shoulders and arms. On my other upper body day, I focus on chest and back. You guys know I'm going to the gym four times a week. I do two legs days during the week and I do two upper body uh, during the week. This one, my main exercise that I go into focus on is overhead press, while in my other upper body, my main exercise is bench press that I go on and focus. And then I did a few warm-up sets uh, with overhead press, and I was like, man, I'm feeling pretty good. Let me try 185 pounds again. Haven't even tried it for like three months because last time it was hard. But I took a big deep breath, and we went for it. And as you can see from my face, I was like, hey, that was that was pretty easy. Let me just ramp up 20 pounds to, uh, what is that, 85, 95, 205. Let me, let me give this a shot, big deep breath, and no, not going to happen. But check this out. The, 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 this, what I'm showing you right now is the same weight, 185 pounds, but this was three months ago in September. And then I will replay what I just did three months later today. Man, that went up so much faster. Like it felt really good. I'll put a side by side. Look just how much faster the bar went up and came right back down, was done. On the left, I was struggling. And then something really cool to see, at least for me, check this out. Look at this side by side of the body changes. Look at that. We're making gains. The weight's coming off. It's getting there. So after failing to lift 205 pounds, I just dropped the weight back down to 155, I believe this is. And the main thing I'm focusing on on each rep is to take a breath into my belly. You'll see my belly puff up. When you're, when you're breathing to do exercises, you don't want to put the air into your chest. You want to push it down into your stomach. You're not just taking a breath for the sake of taking a breath. You're, you're breathing and pushing the air down into your core to, to you know, protect your core. If I had a weightlifting belt, I'd be pushing my stomach up against that weightlifting belt after taking a big, deep breath. But I'm not using one because I... I my weight lifting belt don't fit too good right now and i don't want to buy a new one because the one that i bought was like over a hundred dollars so we're just working on fitting into that weight lifting belt and then as you can see i'm just doing some lat pull down uh even though i focus on shoulders and arms on this upper body day i still do a few back things and i still do a few chest things as you can see i'm doing uh incline uh bench with 100 pound dumbbells just to lift heavy on the chest even though it's like shoulder and arm focused i still want to do a little bit of back a little bit of chest so i did several sets of lat pull down i did like three sets of incline bench just to still hit those body parts as the upper body day i don't want to just not do any chest and back uh, on either of these days and even on my even on my uh chest and back focus day i still do some shoulder and arms but the rest of this stuff is mainly arm stuff. I did a lot of uh, bicep work. I did several different sets of biceps. This one that I recorded, I was doing the hammer curl. I really wanna focus on things that also work my forearms because I want my forearms to be strong and grow and all that kind of good stuff. And this is probably one of my favorite bicep things to do right now is just to use the bar and not wrap my thumb around. You'll see my thumb is not wrapped around. This just feels really good on reverse, get bar, reverse grip barbell curl and then i finished off with uh, some some lateral raises just to again finish off with the shoulders and that was about it pretty sleepy workout nothing crazy but we got it done we got in there several sets of all this stuff a little post workout thoughts and kind of uh where i am at the moment first of all pre-workout never kicked in <laughs> I, I felt strong on some exercises i felt good but 
God, am I tired, man. I, I just didn't really sleep too well last night. I woke up really early this morning, couldn't fall back asleep. So got up, got ready, came to the gym, and just uh, did what I could. I edited one of the little parts of the video where I'm doing the overhead press. That's really cool to see to me. That helped because when I left the gym, I was like, eh, that was okay. You know, I was able to get 185 on overhead press again. It was all right. But then when I put just two months ago, September versus December, and to see my body is changing, my strength is stronger, it, uh, it's definitely nice to see because definitely over the past, I don't know, month and a half, two months, I've been getting impatient again. You know, I, I want I want the weight to be off, but I also want to take it slow. I, I've said in my other videos, you guys have to understand that my main priority with this weight loss is to avoid binge eating at all costs. I do not want to to get back into the cycle of binge eating. And to anyone that has struggled with binge eating, the best way to do that is to not restrict yourself, or at least the way that I would binge eat. Because if I were to restrict myself from a certain food, wouldn't allow myself to have certain foods, would uh, restrict my calories a lot, I would be hungry and I would be craving. And then after an amount of time of doing that, yes, I would drop weight rapidly, but then it would get to a point where I would just eat that craving, go crazy, eat a bunch of food, and then I would bring myself into the cycle where I would binge eat on a ton of food and then barely eat the next day because I was mad at myself for eating so much. And then a few days later, binge eat on a lot of food and so on and so forth. And it was like, honestly, it felt like it was never ending. When I was making my videos five, six years ago, I was still having moments where I would eat a ton of food, feel bad about it, barely eat the next day. And then it, 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 I, even through making those videos, I was doing this. I, I cannot, will not, or do everything I can to avoid getting back into that cycle of, of binge eating. So as I've said on the channel and as I've let you guys know, I'm just taking my weight loss really slow and it is causing impatience because of course i just i want to i want it gone i want it gone i i don't know about you guys y'all if you ever see all the movies saw or all the mo saw movies it was like there there's this one part of one of the sequels where like they have to all right trigger warning to people who are don't like scary movies or gruesome stuff but um there's one part of the movie where they have to like cut off certain parts of their body to weigh less so that whoever cut the most off didn't die. And I was like, man, I would, if I was in this situation, belly gone, you know, all the rolls are gone. And it's like, that's kind of like jokingly, of course, that's super gruesome. Sorry, but it's like, I just want it off. I just want to cut it off. I want to be, I want to be donezo. Now, obviously if I cut myself off of my belly, we'd have a lot bigger problems. Uh, I guess I wouldn't have loose skin. I still would in a way, but I don't know why I went on to this tangent. I apologize to everyone. Let's move on from this. The point is, I want to be leaner. So it's nice to see in the video that I put side by side to see myself in just two months, even though the weight on the scale isn't coming down a lot because I think in September I was like, 180 like lowish 180s and right now i'm in the lowish 170s i've even hit like 170 but then it went back up to 176 i'm, I'm chilling in the low 170s right now so to see just a 10 pound difference but because i've put muscle back on because my body is uh, is going through a lot of changes because i i had previously built a lot of muscle in the six years of working out every day and then to not work out for like three to four years straight, I lost a lot of muscle. Now I'm regaining a lot of that muscle. So it's kind of reconstructing what my body looks like. So even though it's just 10 pounds loss on the scale, I feel like it's noticeable, like not flexing, just literally walking. Like that was just a screenshot of me walking away from the bar. So it's nice to see. 
But I, I mean, through this video, and even I know when I'm gonna be editing this later and putting all the clips together, I know in my head, I'm gonna be like, man, I still got some belly roll action. I still got some love handle action. You know, this looks like a terrible angle. My, my chest is looking chonky, you know? I need to, I, I'm, I'm trying to accept where I am, accept where I am right now while still trying to be better. And that's what I'm working on is I am accepting that this is where I am. I am, I am accepting that this is the way I look right now and it doesn't have to stay this way. I'm working on it and I'm getting to a point to where I appreciate or being able to look at myself and not feel bum. And I'm not as bummed as I was eight months ago when I started all this. Because like I said, I was I was struggling getting into the gym because I would see myself in the mirror and I'd be like, man, I got, I got a long ways to go, man. So now it's I, I'm able to look at myself in the mirror and be like, oh, look, you know, my biceps are coming back. You know, my I'm starting to get a little bit of a little bit more of a V taper for my shoulders into my waist. Um, of course, nothing i'm not like cut into a v uh but it's getting there i'm starting to see changes i guess is all i'm saying so in my mind and the way i think and the way that i find is a is a good thought process not everyone will agree with this thought process but i'm accepting where i am but i am actively trying to change it i'm not really someone that's all about uh, being morbidly obese and saying I'm perfectly healthy because I don't agree with that. You guys know I don't agree with that. Um, but I let myself, I didn't let myself, I went through a lot of crap <laughs> and I gained some weight back and now I'm trying to fix my mentality. I am mentally stronger than I have been since I started YouTube. I am mentally able to handle negative thoughts, be able to handle binge eating, more than I have when I started my YouTube channel and look completely different than I do now. So that's something to understand. So if I can take this stronger mentality and take it over to looking the way that I want to look, we're doing good. That's the goal. That's where I want to be. So that's what we're working on. Obviously, uh, it, it's taken a while because of the goal of not binge eating. And it's, I want I was about to say, it's fine. In my head, I'm like, it's not fine. I want it to go faster. But I, ha I, I, I need to do this for myself. I have to take this slow. I cannot get back into that cycle of overeating, starving, overeating, starving, overeating, starving. I know if any of you have dealt with binge eating, you know the exact cycle I'm talking about. It freaking sucks. So... Yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. Would, uh, I, hopefully I put all those clips together before this little after workout thought and did like a little voiceover or something like that. And then I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, even though most of you are probably subscribed because YouTube ain't recommending my videos right now. So, but if you aren't subscribed, make, make sure you hit the subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Peace.